Yes. How long does it take to take to get what we call a residence permit or what we call the QID? For those people that have been in Qatar, some people it has taken longer, depending on the store, uh, the sponsor. Some people it has taken shorter. The those people that are so lucky that even within two weeks of their entry into the country, they are uh, they are done with the medicals. And in the second week, they are done with their QID fingerprints. So just waiting for their QID. It will depend. By the way, if you're first time coming to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like and don't forget to share. Remember, it's Max always giving you the updates. Yes. How long does it take for you to get your QID? Or what you call the residence permit in Qatar? Yes, it takes a maximum of two to four days if once all the other procedures or other process are all complete. What process are we talking about or what procedure that you do want to know that we are talking about? Yes, as you enter into the country, you have three months of what you call a temporary visa. So it is that temporary visa of three months that will be converted into what you call a work visa and a permit will be issued to you for those people that do not know that. When you come into the country, you have a temporary visa, which is three months. Three months visa is that visa that will be converted into what you call a work visa by your sponsor completing what you call the given formalities according to the law. Yes, as you enter into the country, your sponsor will take your um, medical, will take your fingerprints. If all are successful well, then they will definitely have to issue with a QID. This takes between the period of two to four working days. Or to two to four weeks, the general process. If you want to do, if you are going to do fingerprints, you are going to do everything but for the issue of the QID, according to the ministry, it takes two to four working days. What is the whole procedure all about? What is the whole process all about? When you come into the country, you will be received into the country with what you call a temporary visa. So you will come into the country, your sponsor or the one who recruited you will start up the process. And that process will start with what you call the medical fitness test depending on how fit you are for the job, depending on how fit or how you pass it. Some people have been known to sell that key in one way or the other, that they've redone what you call remedicals. Either you have hepatitis, either you have the chest, black spots on the chest, either you have some clinical problems that think are not curable in a given period of time. So they will refer you so many times until they can clear it or they can clear you up to, to, to go for fingerprints. But to those people that have been so lucky in one way, it takes very fast they will take it off. So for this whole process, which may be two to four weeks to complete the fingerprints, to complete the medical, it may take two to four weeks, but depending on how fast is your sponsor, on how fast is your PRO that is working on behalf of that company. If it's very fast and very, very fast, then the process will also be very fast. So, however, if it is to a certain extent, maybe you go to fail out what you call the medicals, then that is a different case. If you fail out the medical, that is a different phase. They'll have to refer you, or if it is not curable, if it's something that cannot be curable within the range, then they'll have to deport you back to your country. Hope I've tried to answer you the question that you ask and hope you've now got it right. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, if it's your first time, don't forget to give me that subscribe. And don't forget, you know we are looking at the road to 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Always mix from the mix creation team.